Hey folks, what's going on? Fabio coming back with another video. And what I want to talk about in this particular video is um, people that have a lot of cash flow to work with. Because not everybody that enter commercial cleaning or janitorial have, uh, you know, a poor or they have, you know, no cash or whatever. So this video is specifically for those that might be working with, let's say, uh, anywhere from two grand on up maybe two to ten grand okay and I'm gonna give you the dynamics of how I would utilize those funds okay uh, I'm not a cheapskate by any way however uh, I'm strategic with money like that okay so because just as quickly as you got it as quickly as you can lose it right so this is this video once again is for those that's maybe working with two grand plus you know two to ten grand or even past ten grand let's just take uh, let's take five grand okay what would I do with five grand you know, I've never ran a commercial cleaning business. I want to set it up. Uh, I don't want to go a franchise way. What would I do? And I would definitely go ahead and get the legal structure out the way. Go ahead and get your LLC, um, all the, the the tax ID number. You know, go ahead and get legal, the banking account, that type of thing. Okay. After that, I would just continue the process of trying to gain new accounts because after you set up the business folks it's really simple so the dynamics is really really simple for this stuff uh, after you set the business up all you need to do next is pretty much uh, market and eventually pick up new accounts let those accounts pay you and then just repeat the process okay that's all you're doing um, so let's take five thousand dollars I would probably take a thousand of that and uh, strategic be strategic with my my marketing plan so I might go you know out of a thousand I might take let's say maybe five hundred dollars three to five hundred dollars on a direct mail campaign to see where they get me okay and then I will keep tracking on where the dollar is going and what came back in from the dollars that I put out there if that makes sense again I will keep tracking of what the do where the dollar is going, what avenue of marketing I'm using, right, and what came back in. So, um, once again, you can try to say direct mail campaign for let's say three to five hundred bucks, okay, and just see, just test the waters, okay. Uh, you may bring in a good return, you may not bring in nothing. You may have to invest a little more, um, but that's just a starter. We're just playing with figures here. Okay, so, um, and that's out of the first thousand. Again, we got five thousand to work with. We're talking about it's just the first thousand, right? Three to five, maybe for a direct mail campaign. Okay, um, so let's just round it off to a five hundred. So, uh, out of that, that leaves you another five hundred, right? Out of this, just this one thousand we're talking about. Okay, so pretty much where would I go next? I would kind of just look at my area as a whole. If you're in a small area, um, you may have a better chance of doing something in, in like multimedia and picking up new accounts. And the reason I say that is because it's so big. It's not, it's, it, it, it may be cluttered because a lot of small areas that I know of have a lot of franchise people. But if you just got a different swing, a different approach, something totally different than what the franchise, that sets you apart in your area, you know. And I would try to go maybe a, a radio ad or maybe even into television, right? And with the spots that you can get, it's really, 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 really reasonable. Uh, the networks is not as big, it's, it's not as costly as it used to be back in the day because, um, media and television they understand radio they understand that the vast majority of people are using the phones right they're using the internet um, that's why a, a lot of people are converting to this uh, what's, what's this the Amazon stick uh, 
the, the fire stick I don't know if that's the same thing um, Hulu which is what I have uh, Netflix is another one Showbox is another one all right we all using these different type of apps to watch our favorite shows so you don't really even so much care if you miss shows no more right because you know you could catch up on it later got off topic but that's just an, a, a good example of why the uh, radio and why uh, print and even uh, television is not as costly as people may think it is so I'm let's say shoot another five hundred dollars into that so you would kind of put a little money here and a little money there you don't want to just take the whole five thousand dollars and just throw it on one set right so we just blew that first thousand dollars right let's say with direct mail and with a little radio maybe television okay hypothetically okay now that leaves you with four thousand dollars so now with this I wouldn't really so much do anything else with the four thousand dollars okay because you have to have a reserve I tell people all the time to have a reserve you have to have a reserve so I would try to do um, the free techniques which is what I'm accustomed to doing I make a lot a lot of money folks doing these techniques I would not tell you the, the, this stuff if it didn't work okay I just wouldn't okay it's not fair to you and you know it's bullshit I wouldn't want nobody to bullshit me so with the rest of the four with four thousand dollars I would just kind of sit on that and just spend here and there where I need to okay uh, just make sure the bills I'm meeting bills uh, if you hire somebody make sure you meet payroll um, you know just make sure you have cash reserves okay but after you blow that first thousand dollars I will go into phones right picking up the phone just you know telemarketing cold calling and door knocking okay those are the most those are the most time consuming ones right it take a lot of time to do that but uh, the payback on it could be tremendous tremendous um, I was talking to a guy that's uh, you know that he has a franchise uh, not too long ago and he was saying that he get a lot of his accounts through word of mouth right and um, and, and and other avenues and pretty much other avenues that didn't cost really a lot of money to promote to, to get new clients so I'm telling you guys this stuff works you know once you start doing good work um, the word about your company and about you spread like wildfire okay so again we working with that four thousand dollars left again I would sit on that hold it as a reserve because we blew the first thousand okay sit on the four thousand dollars and then I would get the cold calling uh, beating the phones up every day door knocking um, just you know trying to pick up new accounts without using a lot of money and then now I'm thinking about it with maybe let's say another thousand out of the four thousand right I will go to somewhere like Vistaprint and then build the image because at first I think I told you guys just to focus on the marketing aspect and I do agree that you should focus on the marketing aspect but however you have to the image now I think back in retrospect the image means everything right because in the very very beginning when I first started out uh, I started out with two hundred dollars I ordered a course and I began to make money and immediately I started building this image for my company immediately like with the money that came in I wanted to be perceived as this I didn't want to be like those guys that be on a light pole we clean houses we you know we vacuum carpet or we you know shampoo car I didn't want to be one of those guys because I just felt like they didn't make money because they had to draw their signs and nail it to the light pole okay so I wanted to be more professional okay so if, immediately when I started getting money I started putting it back into the business you know so um, so it, let's say you out of the four thousand dollars say you take another thousand dollars we'll go to Vista print you know you get your your pins your coffee mugs your, your shirts with the little logos you can have your logos built over there at uh, Elance or Fiverr um, again that's Elance or Fiverr it's an app you can just type in Fiverr or Google Fiverr and it'll take you straight to the website where ultimately you can download the app from the website and what Fiverr does is help you in any area of business if you want to build a logo you want to need help marketing you need help with PR you need help with uh, doing 
ads, you know, commercials, you need help with uh, voiceovers, they do it all, Fiverr. Um, but yeah, you go over to Fiverr, and it's start as low as $5, folks, so, for those that don't know. So, you go over to Fiverr, and, uh, you know, just kind of pick and choose what you need to do to build your image, to build your company, uh, to put yourself on a different platform than any other independent uh, commercial cleaning company okay so those are other mediums that you guys could use uh, another thing that you can do is start uh, through the likes of Facebook and social media and start like uh, groups okay and you're by you starting the group you'll be like the head of the group you put yourself in position as the expert like in the group and then everybody that joined that group is going to kind of follow your lead because you're the you know head of that particular Facebook group so you'll be able to advertise and network and things like that and be able to meet people that might have commercial cleaning companies in your area close to your area and you guys kind of put your head together whereas in this group you you have a commercial cleaning company and then you can outsource maybe a job to somebody that does residential if you don't do residential, right? Or outsource a job to someone that's within the group that does carpet cleaning. They have the machines, they have the vans, they have the mounts on the truck. They have everything that you need that you don't have. See, this is just how I'm wired. This can go uh, next uh, another half an hour, guys, but this is how I'm wired. This is how I would think with just $5,000, okay? So just imagine how I would think if I had ten, fifteen thousand $15,000 that I was starting off with. And I know some of you guys that watch my videos do have I mean, in the excess of $2,000, maybe up to $10,000 to work with. And you think, should I do residential? Should I start from the ground up? I would tell, I mean, should I uh, do franchise or should I start from the ground up? I would tell you just start from the ground up. Build it yourself. That way you don't have to pay anybody anything. The only person you have to answer to is the tax man. You pay your employees. And it, it, it makes you a little bit more responsible because you don't have to always go to the franchisor uh, for information or uh, if, you, if you need to get another contract or, you know, buy through that or buy through another franchisee, you know, or um, anything like that. It, it, it just, you feel a level of uh, self-dignity, you know. Uh, you feel a level like, I built this on my own. Can't nobody tell me anything. I created this system. It's now working. It's profitable. Um, yeah, I bumped my head a few times, but I got back up and I learned from it and I just didn't repeat What caused me to make the first mistake? Right, so um, This is just kind of how I think folks uh, you want to take that into consideration So for those that have money uh, I, I, And I know I was kind of a bit all over the place, but I wanted to be detailed so you guys can get a kind of Thought process for those that have a cash flow to work with don't just throw all your cash in one area Okay um, keep something on reserve okay build your image uh, I will tell you that um, I'm sure I told you different before but I had to think back uh, build your image okay create uh, the buzz around your company do something different that other independent guys isn't doing I mean you know what guys is doing you know you can test the water you know you can uh, Google and see other uh, you know people websites and see what they're doing because it's somebody that's going to be doing something different than you. I'm not against taking an idea either. If it works for you, you know, take it. Just don't do something. Don't take something that's copywritten, right? Don't take something that's, you know, going through that legal situation. But if you see somebody doing something, you can take it, tweak it, and add your own edge to it, okay? Um, I've seen a lot of stuff. I'm like, oh, man, that's a great idea. And in my head, I took it. Once I sell myself in my head that I can complete it, that I can get it done better than them, then I don't mind offering that service or going into that particular realm of cleaning, okay? But if I feel like uh, I, I just can't do it, then I don't do it. For an example, I have painters on my team, folks, um, because we do apartment clean out. I have uh, pest control. I did a video about that. I remember we were doing, uh, when I used to do residential, they asked me uh, if we did, you know, get rid of, get rid of pests and rodents. I said no, so I teamed up with pest control, okay, I have access to lawn care people to do snow removal, leaf removal, that type of thing, right, so, but I did this network, like BNI, uh, Chamber of Commerce type of groups, 
there's different people that offer different things uh, Facebook was a great help with that Facebook groups where people say oh you do commercial cleaning oh well I do snow removal I do uh, landscaping great well this is this and this and that'll work well for any business that need landscaping or need that type of situation happening on the outside of the business while I take care of the inside of the business or for a, a, a homeowner that I may clean the inside of their home and then I have one of my guys do the outside right or since I don't paint I'm teamed up or linked up with a lot of painters or a couple of painters actually I can call one of them and say hey I got this paint job right so I bring them the job we split the the uh, the fee you know we I put them under contract or we get a contract going and split the fee 50 50 right or sometimes I'll take 40 60 just because they're doing the job I brought them the client but they actually doing the paint so I'm not gonna be greedy I'll take the 40 get them 60 because I already know I can count on them when I get another paint job I can come back to them same thing for the pest control right I bring them clients I might take 40 percent right or 70 30 give them 70 percent let them feel good about that and feel good with working with me because they know this guy's gonna pay. This guy's gonna pay good. He, this guy's brother, this Fabio guy, he's pretty good. So I take thirty percent. You guys, I'm still making money right on a residual in the back, right with my own business, right. I'm still making money with Direct Auto Network. You see what I'm saying? I'm still making money uh, with public speaking. You see what I'm saying? I'm still making money with modeling. You know, so I'm got these different areas locked down, so I don't mind giving them the mad portion of it and taking a lower portion of it you know because the greedy become needy I'm gonna say that again the greedy become needy remember that so um, again I went 16 minutes long almost 20 minutes here folks uh, I could go in detail some other time um, but that's how I would navigate with five thousand dollars or for those that have money so if you have a little money to work with and you're not flat broke and let's say you have an excess of two two thousand dollars to let's say ten thousand dollars just start with different, you know, take it by the thousand. Start with one thousand, so that's gonna leave you with nine thousand or leave you with four thousand, right? Out of two thousand, take one thousand and say that's gonna leave you with another thousand. So I'm not gonna touch that thousand. I'm gonna see what I can do with this thousand. If you break it down that way, instead of saying, Oh, what can I do with this two thousand dollars? It'll be a lot manageable for you. Okay. I'm probably your heart, the only person that could ever stop you from starting up your own dreams and making it to the top is you. Take care.